Cody. Yeah, Kyle. Oh my God. Uh, it's uh, it's intense music time. There's alarms blaring and people running about. What's, what's going on? It's mission day. It's mission time, Koopo. It's mission day. Uh, Not here. Okay. Well, the Moogle says mission time. Oh, fuck the Moogle. <laughs> Um, this is Final Fantasy Type-0 HD. This camera looks just awful. Well, yeah, it's not good. Um, it's really not good. Like, look at this. Oh, man. Yep. I like how your character's fully, like, not blurry. And yeah, the character stays in focus and everything else. I think, oh. they, I think they do it to hide the terrible, like, graphics. Because they, they... The only thing I feel like they really, like, redid in terms of graphical fidelity of the character models because those all look really good at least for the main characters um, and like the summons and stuff those all look really good and like the, the combat stuff looks looks pretty good but everything else you know environment wise it looks just like trash just even in mission um, so this is academia this is where you go in between missions okay and I have done the first mission and I'm on my way to do the second mission academia sounds like academics which uh, I can only it's assume a is a school it okay. is a school um, you are a member, well, you play as all of the members of Class Zero. Okay. like an elite battle group. Does that um, have any relation to Type Zero? Yes. Okay. I would assume. All I right. can only assume. And like, like, look at this. If I want to move the camera, it just, like, it's oh, not... Oh, man. Like, I'm not touching the camera right now. It's doing this oh. to avoid clipping through walls and stuff. And it's, yeah. It gives you a headache after about five seconds. Um... And it's even worse in combat, and we'll we'll see why. But um, there, uh, I, I played through the first mission, and then I guess like in between missions, you have six or twelve hours—I don't remember which—to go through and do things. And Not real time hours. No, it's they progress every time you do an event or you take partake in a class, and that gives you ex a bonus experience and like extra magic points and all that kind of stuff through doing the classes, and then. Doing the little events give you little story background things for different classmates and get you items and stuff. Um, I like this guy's like half cape. Yeah, yeah. There, there's another guy. He has a really big long one. Um, he's not in here. Oh, there he is. Uh, Machina. He's got Machina. he's got big long cape. He's got like a robe. Yeah, dude. He's he's a cool guy. This over here. This is King. Uh, I haven't played as him yet, but he I believe he dual wields pistols. Okay, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Um, but there's some, like, really weird ties. Yeah, let's see, there's, um... Uh... Oh, crap, what are they called? Uh, I forget what those guys are called. But those are, like, a really hard enemy from, like, older Final Fantasy games. I think they were first what? in 7, What was the guy's name who got his own, like, offshoot Final Fantasy game? Dirge of Cerberus? What Dirge was, of Cerberus? Who'd you play that? Um, that's it? Vincent. Vincent. Yeah, that's he's from 7. Um, so we're gonna... I, I don't want to show off the academia stuff because it's literally like oh, man, this camera. Is yeah, it's bad, out. especially when you're changing elevations and oh. stuff. Um, uh, it, it's the the time in between missions is essentially an anime game, and I say that because every anime game has like a school segment, um, and it's like it, it's not like a relationship simulator or anything. It's just very indicative of that. So let's let's jump into the mission. Do central command. This is the head of class zero. He's kind of like our. He's sort of like our teacher. He gives us our marching orders. Um, yada yada. So he's he's explaining how I can set up support characters to come in and help out. I think the only Final Fantasy game I've ever played to completion was ten. Okay. I've. Let's. I'm trying to think of the game. The final only Final Fantasy games I've played, I think, are seven. 10, 10 to uh, 13, and uh, oh, was the was Final Fantasy 12 with like the lines that yes, yes. combat? It was real time. I played that. I real, liked the, real time turn based. I liked, turn -based I liked that was. one. That one was pretty cool. Yeah, I didn't care much for the story. No, it, it was kind of like it was like it was high fantasy in that like everyone spoke with British accents and you didn't give a shit about their characters. Um, yeah, this is where I want to go. And then I also played Dirge of Cerberus. 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 Gorsh. But yeah, that, uh, I played about half of that game, I think. It was okay. Yeah. It, it was doing something different, which I kind of It was like Shadow the Hedgehog. I'm ready. Yeah. 
is the Shadow of the Hedgehog of the Final Fantasy yeah, franchise. For sure. What was that? Uh, it's like a gate okay. thing. Like a subway terminal. Sure. Um, so these are your save points. You can promote people, which just means upgrading Holy them shit. with AP. Um, so those are all playable characters. These are all playable characters. Uh, these are all people in your roster, and you can swap out... Um, See, reserves, reorganized reserve members, yada yada, assignment, and this is, you can pick who your active characters are. You get three characters, I think, at a time. Okay. That's how it was during the first mission, at least. Um, so you can have any combination of people, and they each use their own different type of weapon, um, and have their own abilities and all that kind of stuff, which, it's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, so it really, there's, like, some heavy, um, heavy customization for your party. Sure. Because of that. Um, do, do, do. yeah, and you can abort the mission um, before all your all three people get KO'd, and you get to keep your experience. You don't keep oh. the items or anything, but you keep, keep the experience. Um, so if you encounter a really hard mission, you can uh, you can play it several times over and keep getting stronger and earning abilities and stuff. But well, there's only one mission to choose from at a time, correct? Correct. That's that's what I believe. There's also like um, like special like tests you can take that are little, like, feats of strength kind of thing, and then you can do those, get extra items and experience. Um, oh, I didn't realize that. Okay, when one of your active members falls in battle, up to replace him from one of the reserves. Oh, that's kind of cool. I didn't realize that. Um, and, like, it, it, it throws all these words, like, aura and trance and primed status, and they mean fucking nothing to me at all. It doesn't explain them whatsoever. Hmm. Um, it, it leaves it up to you to go through, like, this how-to-play thing. Oh, no. Oh, sorry, I thought that was, like, a tutorial thing. Okay, so there is no tutorial, essentially. Um, there's just little tips that pop up every now and then that explain little to nothing of all of the mechanics. Um... I kind of I figured out sort of what I'm doing through oh, experimentation. This is, this, yeah, this is, is Overworld. Okay. This is an Overworld map. Um, so we're heading over here. I've never, All I've right, never was encounter. a fan of games with an Overworld. It's a classic. All right, so we've got my characters here. There's this dude. Oh, you throwing I, cards? Yeah, I attack him with magic cards. LOL, magic cards. Oh. I can dodge out of the way. Okay. His dodge is like a quick teleport, which is pretty cool. Oh shit. And I can pull cards from... Ah! Oh, I should probably lock on. I can pull cards from my deck. Oh! Ah, oh, fucker. I didn't realize he was going to do like a double dash. Oh, Mario Kart. Alright, we'll just keep hitting him with that. There we go. Yeah, but I don't know. I've never... Um, I never cared for an overworld. I feel like that there's no need for that anymore. Yeah. I agree. Um, after you win an encounter, more enemies might attack your squad. Select fight to engage or retreat to run away. Okay. Are the missions replayable? I'll fight some more. Um, yes, the missions are replayable. Alright. So I'll hit him with all I got there. And... Oh, he didn't drop any phantom, though, which is weird. Alright, so let me try what this is, again. What, phantom? Boom. What is phantom? Damn. Damn. It's, uh, enemies drop it after you KO them, and well, these guys aren't for some reason, only this machine is. So if I lock onto it, I can drag the phantom, it gives me some MP back. Okay. And I, and I obtain the phantom, uh, I don't know what it gets me beyond that. Um, I wonder if that just, does that just keep going? It might, I'm not sure. We'll plug on to this mission. Do do do. Recapture it. Alright. Members to participate. Oh god. Why are they yellow? Is that who was already in my party, I guess? Um. So. People that I've played with before, and I'm familiar with them. I've played with nine. He has. Oh no, never. What? Oh, okay. Yes, I played with nine. And. Who was the girl? I so I, I, queen. I see Ace, which is clearly one. Deuce is two. Trey, Trey is three. 
Cater's four. Cinque is five. Or cinque. Cinque or cinque or whatever. Cinque would be six, seven, eight, nine. Or Jack, Jack queen, queen, King, King, Machina, and Rem. They're kind of outsiders that just got added to class zero. They don't get a cool number name yet. Nah, man. Um, I want I want to try out Machina and Rem. Can you? Can not I just add have, all of them? Yeah. Oh, oh, I see. Wait, that, oh, that's weird. Change equipment, nah. Active members. Alright, um, I definitely want Ace because I'm the most familiar with him. I want to try out King, his dual pistols. And then we want, like, a, we're going to want a tank dude. Oh, she's, she's kind of hardcore. She's she got a big cure. old scythe. Yeah, that's probably a good thing to have. Can you switch between those characters, like, in control? Yes. Okay. On the fly, during combat. Um... Except receive backup. Sure. I don't know what the downside to that would be. Um, all right. Alright, so they're something looks is like they're fleeing. Something's weird, sort of weird about like the brightness and like color of this game too. Nice. I like his guns better. His bullets move faster. Alright, so he's gotta dodge a roll. I don't know what it is, but something. Something about the lighting is on. Yeah, I agree. Oh, come on, Phantoma. There we go. What uses MP? Like all attacks? Um, no, you can see on the right I've got the twin revolvers. That's my normal attack. Point blank shot is like a melee. Um, and then my blizzard will use my MP, I believe. Yeah. So that's just kind of an AoE mess stuff up. And does it block your dodge roll? Or uh, if I stand still, I can hold it and reduce damage. Or I can dodge roll. Did it say ace? I'll give you a hand. What? Why did... Oh. What? What? What just happened? It said Wadey's level 19 code is something. This'll be easy. What? Die for nothing. Step aside. What? It, it put ace back in my reserves and then it gave me this chick. Wadey. I don't... Is that like another player's... Thing? Is that like an online thing? Is that another that's player? Left. Yeah, that was another player. What? That's bizarre. Huh. Give them all you got. I got this. Sorry I'm late. I think, yeah, these are other players coming in, I think. That, that's there's bizarre. no explanation. No, it's not explaining to me what the fuck's going on. But yeah, that's totally off. Like, so there's online to the game. <laughs> that's what it seems like? Or it, it might just be pulling... Other character data from people they're not actually controlling. But those people, yeah, I don't. Fuck me, I don't know. It, yeah, that did not explain. So, this game, could you easily say, just d does a very poor job explaining things? Yeah, oh, big time. Um, what's the map? Looks like there's some treasure over oh, here. Oh, yeah, show the map off. It's. Yeah, it's not... just kind of icons. Um, it, it doesn't actually give you the layout of each area. And then the mini-map doesn't either. Correct. Correct. Well, I mean, that is that is the map. There is no mini-map. Or here. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't- I wouldn't even really call that a mini-map. Um, so the thing with these barricades is I can run up to them and hit that and it'll destroy the barricades. So that's a thing. So mini-map's more of a radar. Yes. So there's- this is a knowing tag, I think. Yeah, and you can grab those from downed soldiers on the field. I don't know exactly what that gets you. Um, so there's something up ahead. Some item. I just, I feel like... It's, it's a weird game. Yeah, it's really weird. <laughs> like, as far as the story, like, do you understand what's going on? I haven't really been paying attention. It, it's, like, it's doing some weird stuff. So, what would be the draw of this game? Like, what's is this is this for people who played the original? Is this no for just hardcore Final Fantasy fans? It's not for anybody, really. Like, it, it's for it's for anyone. Like, I mean, it's for a Japanese game market. Like, it shouldn't have been released here. You think? I I like I don't know what to do with this game. I guess. Like, hey, you called? what is happening? 
the fuck is going on? Yeah, I don't even know. I don't know anymore. I'm just gonna roll with it and try and finish the mission. Um, well, Akiko Yamaguchi and Hiko Hiko Hiroko Kawabi are in are, are, are in, in my party. party playing, I guess. Like, what the hell? I guess that's what support meant. It never told me that's what that support thing meant. The game guide. I got the guide with it, and not even that did it. That did a terrible job of explaining as well. Um. Yeah, super weird. So, this didn't have, like, in, I know it, it originally released in Japan, right? Correct. On the PlayStation Portable PSP? Or? Yes, PSP. Um, and there was no, like, prequel to this or anything over there as well, was there? So, to where players would just have known what all this stuff was? Correct. Now, like I said, I have very little knowledge of Final Fantasy World, but is, uh... Shit. Do all the games take place in the same universe? Uh, no, not really. No? They're all completely separate things of each other? For, yeah. Except, e except for, for, you know, the, the numbered. Yeah. Um, the ones that have the extra numbers assigned to them. Um... Okay, there's Barricade. What else we got? I think there's another enemy over here. Yeah, another auto turret. There we go. Oh shit. There we go. So I defeated the commander. Oh, but I froze him. But like, if you defeat the commanding officer before you defeat the other enemies, they'll flee. And you can run up to them and chase them and hit X to apprehend them before they flee and get an item from them, I think. I don't know, it's, it's just it's a weird game. It's just a really weird game. Sure looks like it. I'm gonna... I'm just gonna press on. Um, I mean, it's... It's weird because... I mean, I can see, like, these bite-sized missions. I can see where that would be, uh... Better for a handheld environment. Sure, But yeah. I don't know, I feel like they did very little to try and translate it to a console space. Um, and what they did do isn't... Good enough. Yeah, I, I don't I don't think so. Do you know how many missions there are? Uh there's eight chapters. Um I don't know how many missions that equates to. Okay, I can't go up there. What is this that? is a that's a wall. I can actually cast those as well. If I hold down my block. I can cast a wall, and that'll block some damage. Not a ton, but some. Uh, that's good against more powerful enemies. Second Lieutenant Necker. Frigger. So, was, so he, was he a special enemy, or does, uh, does every he, enemy he was, a he was a commanding officer. Uh, when they have those little icons. So, we're approaching the last room. Do, do, do. Well, some, some shit happened here. Um, yeah, I know, I know that. Is there... Showed there an item? Yeah, here we go. There's an item. Combat ration. Those are actually pretty nice, the combat rations. Um, oh, something else to note. Oh, that's a fortified. It doesn't direction. pause. Right, yeah, it doesn't pause when you pause. So, um, what are the bottles at the bottom? Th those are equipped items and stuff. That's just a representative Boom, sign for items that you have equipped. Correct. So the the item that I have equipped is a potion, and I have twelve of them equipped. Is that machine a major? Uh, yes. <laughs> well, good. There's a person inside of it oh, piloting okay. it. And these machines. Um, well, there, there's a certain type of machine, because it's all about, like, crystals. Okay. Let me attack the fuel tank. There we go. Like most of that was Final an easy Fantasy way to beat is that. about crystals. Die, you demons! There we go. You do yeah, see? I, I got him, because I beat his CO. So, you know, stuff. He was fleeing, and I apprehended him. Mission complete. 
That's kind of how wow, that goes. That's, that that's, was a mission. Oh, that's... Is that how the missions, all missions are? Just well, the of... first mission was significantly longer. It was a storyline one, so there were cutscenes and stuff. Um, I was hoping to see some more cutscenes uh, so I could show off the terrible voice acting. Um, I'm sure we'll have some after this. But, uh, yeah, you know, it's just, it's a really weird game, and I, it's not what I was expecting, like, at all. Um, which is okay, I guess. You know, it doesn't have to meet my expectations. I just didn't know what it was going into it, and so that's, you know, that's kind of my fault. Um, or am I, am I supposed to go in there? This is another thing I don't know. What could you? Oh, I can actually I can hit pause from that menu, oh. but I don't think I can do that in what, mission. What about uh, what was this chocobo dealy on the right? Go back out. Um, I can use a chocobo, and that negates um, random encounters. Yeah. So it looks like from here I can actually return to there without having to fight stuff, which is kind of nice. Um, yeah, and there's there's a crystorium or crystarium, and that. Um, is full of... Yes, you have 12 hours to the next mission. So, um, if I were to talk to this guy, I would keep talking, <laughs> and this conversation goes for two hours. It Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, it takes up two hours. Um, yada yada. You're welcome. So I get a high potion for talking to him, and now I have 10 hours to the next mission. Wow, that's a long conversation. Yeah, I know. That guy was a, that guy was a chatty... Chatty McChatterson. Um, so the guide recommended, because there's all sorts of conversations you can have and items you can get, the guide recommended you go do class first. Because um, the class takes, I think, like six hours. Um, and, and that's what gives you, like, the stat buffs and all that. Um, so the Crystarium's over there, and it's said to go there when you're not sure how to proceed. So I'm guessing it just gives you tactics on how to beat certain enemies and their weaknesses and stuff. Um, you know a game's going to be confusing when there's an area where you go to know what to do next. Well, every every Final Fantasy game has that. That's It's just the encyclopedia or, or whatever they have. Um, yeah, I came for the lecture. Well, and, and every every Final Fantasy game is pretty fucking confusing, too. Yeah. So, uh, defensive magic or principal, probably principles of combat. So, earn, earn EXP. Or increase power of defense magic. Give me, give me some EXP, man. Begin the lecture. And I get a mega either, which is pretty nice. Those are always good. Um, nom nom nom. So apparently he's eating in class. Oh, Jack. Who's Jack? He he has a katana. Oh. Yeah. Reminds me of Jack from uh, Millionaire Solid. He's yeah, a, actually, yeah. He's got a. On him. Or a sword, rather. Um, so, yeah. That was I got 2,000 XP. Holy shit. No, oh, that only took hours. two hours. That's nice. Um, and here's another exclamation point. Oh, and I, I, can, I can listen to another one. So, increased defense magic. So, this is kind of what you do in between missions to get extra stuff. I don't know. It's weird. This is a weird game. It's I know, not it, not what I was expecting. I know you said the first mission was a lot longer, but I mean, is the premise the same? You go to through every area and just kill guys. Um. Well, no, that one was much more story focused. Where story, sorry, I should say story driven. Where you had an objective. It wasn't just to eliminate the enemies. It was like I had to go plant a mana bomb and blow up a. They were they were using a crystal blocker thing. The these. Forces, these enemy forces were using a crystal blocker, and that was uh, disabling the troops there from using magic, so they were getting slaughtered, and so we came in to help out. That kind of crap. Um, so, yeah. You know, that's. So, initial impressions. In initial impressions, not great. Uh, I wish I could get a cutscene in here so you guys could see and hear some of the terrible voice acting. But, like, the cutscenes are all rendered pretty decently. Like, those they spent some time on. Um, that's kind of a serious staple to have nice CG cutscenes. But, like, just the normal voice acting is not good. Because, like, the localization's bad. And then the actors don't know how to say their lines. So, just kind of awkward. Let's see if anyone's in the lounge. 
Oh, here's another annoying thing. Because it this game, it's all about the little annoyances, I think, for me. It's like you go to an area, and then you run on here, and you hit no to return to the entrance, and you can't re-go, so you have to walk back onto it, so you return to the entrance. And then, it, let's say I wanted to go to the Chocobo farm, I have to walk off, walk back onto it, and then go to the Chocobo Ranch. I can't just go to the Chocobo Ranch from the lounge. Oh, I see. So I have to always have to return to that central area before I could go anywhere. Um, it's kind of annoying. Look at him. Yeah, little baby Chocobos. Chicobos. Chicobos. Um, Chicobos. So, I mean, like, that's... Yeah. You know? Now this is a $60 game. This is a $60 game. Most HD re-releases are 40 Especially of, like, a PSP game. Yeah. Um, and, and a big thing about this game is its replayability. You know, you're replaying missions for extra EXP, extra items and stuff. Um, but there's also the game guide has a playthrough 2 section. Hmm. So there's a whole New Game Plus thing where it changes a bunch of stuff. Um, yeah. That's so if you're going to get this, get it for the Final Fantasy XV demo, if you can, because those were only day one editions. Which we'll also be right. doing a peep show on that. Yeah, we'll, we'll be doing that shortly. Um, so, I mean, like, I guess just know what this is going into it. Uh, if any of you played Crisis Core on the PSP, it's oh, set up one too. somewhat similarly like to that, that where it's, you know, short little mission, bursts of missions and stuff. It doesn't translate super well to a console environment, because, like, when I play a Final Fantasy game, I want to be spending hours and hours and hours plugging through a story, grinding enemies and all that kind of stuff, not these little snippets of narrative and snippets of uh, combat scenarios. Um, but that's me personally, and I don't know if I'm... I can't hold that against the game in my review. And, and, and um, you know, like, I think in general, I think it's maybe a generalization that games with, like, a mission layout where you just do little missions, I feel like that's not a full game at that point. It doesn't feel like a no, full game. No. Well, because it, it, it um, by the nature of it, it chops up the narrative and the experience, yeah. and it, it it eliminates any kind of flow right. and, and effect that that uh, those story beats can have. And um, I feel like that typically can have a negative impact on your overall. Oh, well, especially with Final Fantasy, with right. all of them being such story, huge story, narrative driven games. Yeah, these are huge, robust worlds that they craft, um, and they, you know, they uh, don't. When, when you get one of the entries of the series and it's not presented to you in a way that makes that easy to comprehend or get into, that's always unfortunate and a little yeah. disappointing. Um, but I'll, I'll be reviewing it. Uh, I'll probably just do one playthrough. I don't think I'll do a second. Um, I don't know how long it is. Uh, it's eight chapters. I'm on chapter two. I've been playing for maybe an hour 20 or so. I don't know how many missions there are per chapter. But... Um, I mean, I'm looking forward to see where it goes to get more in depth with some of the systems and try out the other characters and their styles of combat and stuff. I've just been—I wanted to use him because I know how to use him, um, but I'm going to delve more into trying out some of the other characters uh, and, and and see if any of their styles jive with my turkey a little bit better. And this was released on PS4 and Xbox One only. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes, I believe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, it's full $60 game, so I would just like know what you're getting into before you get the game. That's the most important thing. Um, I mean, if, you know, if you like Monster Hunter, if you liked Crisis Core, if you, if you're attracted to that, uh, or if you play games in shorter bursts, I would say this is a good fit. Um, but if you're looking for an expansive, lengthy Final Fantasy story driven experience, this is not that. Um, uh, and it doesn't it doesn't pretend to be either. So, um, but yeah, so that's this peep show. So thank y'all for watching, and uh, look forward to my review.